This is how you can code an advanced warn command with discord.js version 14. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to be using the slash command package for this video, but you can use any handler that you would like. Um, but I'm going to create a command using my handler, so I'm just going to go to moderation. I'm going to go ahead and call it warn.js, and I'm going to go ahead and create the file. So because this is an advanced warn command, we are going to be creating warn.js, warns.js, and uh, clearwarn.js. So this is going to give the warn, the warnings or warns.js will check to see how many warns any member has, and then clearwarn will remove a given amount of warns from that member. So before we start with this code, we're going to go ahead and install a couple of things. I do have that Discord logo there, just so you don't see any of my personal information. But once you're here, just go ahead and do npm i quick dot db, just like that. The next thing that we're going to install is npm i better dash s q l i t e three. Go ahead and install that. Once that's installed, you can go ahead and close out of the terminal. After that, a file may automatically be created, but if it's not, just go ahead and create a new file just like this. Call it json.sqlite, just like that. Um, and then go ahead and close out of that. If this error comes up, just close out of that as well. So now we can go ahead and actually start coding. So what we can do is we can start by saying const slash command builder equals require at discord js slash builders then we're going to go ahead and go under here we're going to do const in here we're going to do permissions bit field comma embed builder and we're going to do equals require discord.js just like that we can do const quick db equals require we can do quick dot db just like that we can do const db equals new quick db so i'm gonna do module dot exports equals open this up we do data new slash command builder we can do dot set name we can do warn set description in here we can say warns a member and we can do the add user option in here it's going to be option arrow function option dot set name we'll do target just like that we can do dot set description the user you would like to warn just like that we can do dot set required and we can say true then we can go ahead and go under that and we can add a reason so we can do add string option option arrow function option dot set name and this is going to be our reason. We can do set description to add a description. And this is going to be the reason for warning the user. Just like that. We can do dot set required. We're going to set this to false because we do not need a reason. We can go ahead and put a comma. We can do async executes interaction. And go ahead and open this up. In here, we're going to do a simple permission check just to make sure that um, the member has the correct permissions to warn a member. So we can do if exclamation mark interaction dot member dot permissions dot has permission bit field dot flags dot kick members will do then we can go ahead and return await interaction dot reply just like this we can say content in here we can go ahead and say you don't have permission to execute this command just like that we can do eph e-m-e-r-a-l true just like that under there we can go ahead and do const member equals interaction dot options dot get user we can do target then we can do let reason equals interaction dot options dot get string and we'll pass in our reason string we can say if no reason we will set the reason to no reason provided just like that or you could do no reason given or whatever you want to do then we can make an embed, so we can do const dm embed equals new embed builder. We can set a color, and for me, I'm going to do blue. We can set a description, and in here, we're going to do white check mark. In here, we can say you have been warned in interaction.guild.name, and then we can pass in a reason right here and we can go ahead and copy this embed we can go ahead and paste it down here we can call this embed and then we're just going to go ahead and delete all of this and we can say member dot tag um has been warned 
And then we can pass in a reason just like we did above. Then we can go down here and we can do awaits interaction dot reply. We can say embeds. And then we can go ahead and pass in our embed that we want to send in the channel. And we can do await member.send. We can pass in our DM embed this time here. Then we can go ahead and catch an error just like this. And simply it returns so that if they have their DMs off, nothing will happen. It, will, it just won't crash the bot. Then we can go ahead and add a new DB. So we can do db.add. We can do warns underscore member. And we can go out here and do one comma one, just like that. So we can go ahead and save this file. Go ahead and copy everything in here. What we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to create a new file in the moderation or a new command, however you would do it. And we're going to call this warnings.js. Go ahead and paste that warn.js code into your warnings.js file or your warnings.js command. And then go ahead and follow these changes. So the first change that we're going to make is we're going to call this warnings. We're going to call this gets a members warnings, just like that. Um, so now we're going to go ahead and delete the reason, just like that. And in here we're going to say... Um, the member you want to check the warns of and then we're just going to add a comma here uh, so then after that what we can do is we can delete the permissions check because we want everybody to be able to check the warns of themselves or anyone else really um, and then we're going to go ahead and delete the reason stuff right here we can also go ahead and delete the dm embed as well as the member.send and we're also going to go ahead and delete the db.add so we should be left with this so go ahead and go under const member and simply do let warns equals await db.get. And we can do warns underscore member. We can add a semicolon right here. And then we're going to say if warns is equal equal to null, which means nothing, then we can set warns to zero, just like that. And then in here, we're going to go ahead and delete all of this stuff. And we're simply going to say member.tag has, we can bold this, and we can say warns, finish that bolding, and say warn, and then put an S in there. And then all of that should be good. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're simply going to copy all of this code from our warnings.js file or command. We're going to go ahead and create a new command or file called clearwarn.js. In here, go ahead and paste all of that. So we'll call this clear, clear warn, just like that. And we're going to call this um, clears uh, members warnings. So we already have our user option right here, but we are going to change this to the member you want to clear the warns of, just like that. We can remove this comma. We can go down here and do add number option, option arrow function option dot set name. We can do number. We can do dot set description the number of warns you want to clear and we can do dot set required we can make this true because we are going to need a number of warns to clear we're going to add a comma down here now that we've done that we can go ahead and under the member uh, consistent we can add a new consistent and we can call this warn num equals interaction dot options dot get number and we'll do number and then we already have this here so all we have to do is go under here and do if warn num is greater than warns, we can return await interaction dot reply and say contents. In here, we can do you can only clear a max of, and then in here, we can go ahead and pass in warns, and then we can say warnings from, we can pass in member dot tag, and then we can do comma e p h e m e r a l true. And go ahead and add a semicolon so what this is going to do is if the warning number that you're trying to clear um, is greater than the warns that that member actually has it's going to reply with this so then what we can go ahead and do is under this we can say af warns or after warns equals await db dot sub and then we can say warns underscore member and then we can do comma warn num just like that, the warn num variable from above. We can add a semicolon here. We're gonna go ahead and highlight all this, go ahead and delete it. And we can say member.tag now has af warns. Um, and then we can say warn and then an S in here. One more thing we can go ahead and do is we can just go ahead and copy this and we can go ahead and paste it right under there. 
Um, that way, if the warrant is actually equal to zero, then it will put it in there. With that, we are actually done with the warn warnings and clear warn commands. We can go ahead and restart the bot and test this out. Over in the Discord server, what we can go ahead and do is we can make sure that permission check is working for the warn command. So we can just try to warn myself, and then we can say test, um, just like that. And as you can see, it's going to say you do not have permission to execute this command. So then what we can go ahead and do is we can go on to the account that actually does have permissions and we can just do warn. We can warn my alt. So that's going to be this. And then we can say uh, testing warn command as our reason. It's going to go ahead and warn me as you can see here. And it's going to go ahead and send me that DM saying that I've been warned uh, for testing the warn command. Then if we go in here, we can do it on here. We can do warnings and we can get our target, which is going to be me. We can go ahead and send that message. It's going to say that I have one warns. If I want to do it on this account, um, just like that, uh, check it right here. It's going to say that I have one warns. I can check it in any channel I want, um, just like this, pass that in. As you can see, it's going to say that I have one warns. Now, this is multi-gilded, so it's only going to say I have one warns in one server if this bot was in a different server um then it would say zero warns until i actually warn them one thing that i forgot to do was i forgot to add the permission check back in here uh so go ahead and go into warn.js go ahead and copy all of this the permission check and then go ahead and paste it into the clear warn uh right here so what this is going to do is it's just going to prevent um somebody with no perms uh, clearing warns. So go ahead and restart the button. We can test out this command. So I do have one warning as you can see So I'm just gonna go ahead and try to clear that warning on the account that has no perms And we'll say one and as you can see it's gonna say you do not have permission to execute this command So if we go into the account that does have permissions and we do clear warn um, And we'll pass in this let's just try to put in a number that is a lot bigger than the number of warns that I actually have so we're gonna pass in like a big big number it's gonna say you can only clear a max of one warnings um, from this account so then we can also do clear warn and we can put in me and let's say we didn't put in a number it wouldn't let me send a message so now if I actually go ahead and try to clear that one warning it's gonna now say that that account has zero warns and if we go ahead and do warnings Pass in the account, it's gonna say that I have zero warns. Uh, so you can code a warn command for your Discord bot. This is pretty advanced, uh, so if you do need any help, join the server in the description below, and we'll be able to help you out. Um, again, this is multi-gilded, so feel free to use this in multiple servers, and I will see you guys in the next video.